Hello and welcome allies back to the AOA Feed the Beast Unleash server. As always, BosoxFan9 here with you. Today's episode, we are going to be working on Cobblestone Inc. As we can see, we've marked out the future site. Um, a few things changed since last episode. Uh, Deathkiller's got a treehouse going on over there, and... Uh, Blue Flight's got some stuff going on over there. Not really sure what's going on yet, so I'm not going to show you any of that, but we'll show you it eventually. Um, so today, like we were saying, we're going to be making cobblestone ink. So the idea of this building is going to be basically just your one-stop shop to get your uh, basic cobblestone when you need to you know, do projects with cobblestone. Um... Now, if you're not familiar, there are a few additions to uh, cobblestone. They're the compressed cobblestone. So what my idea is, I'm going to start with the basic cobblestone and then use auto crafting tables to turn it into compressed and all the way up into octuple compressed cobblestone, which is equal to 43 million cobblestone. <laughs> So probably going to be one block would all to be all the, bleh, would be all the cobble that you would ever need. But we're going to do it anyways. But we're going to start on floor 1 with the regular cobblestone. So I'm going to just bring this building out back a little bit. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is get this ready because I do not want monsters coming. So as soon as it gets nighttime, we're going to jump in that bed before anything has time to spawn. Uh, so my basic idea uh, to start is there's going to be kind of basically two sides of each floor. So one side of the floor is going to be where you see the actual barrels filled with cobble. And then the other side is going to be where all the stuff happens on that floor. And then I'm going to have a spiral staircase that kind of climbs up around the outside of the building. And the floors will flip flop. So... That's the idea. If it's going to work, I don't know. That's to be determined. I'll move that for now. So we're going to start, I think, with one, two, three, four, five. Start right here. And then we'll bring this back. Just kind of, I got to get a feel for the. Uh, shape of the building or it's not going to work in my head. <laughs> Alright, so we will have a stairwell. Uh, we only need three for the stairwell, so let's do that. Lock that right off, and this will be where we walk in. And this is where our barrels are going to be. We're going to have five barrels on each floor. I haven't really mapped out the dimensions of this. Can I just do it on the fly? So bear with me. Uh, let's start right there. Three, four, and five. All right. So if you do not know, uh, in order to fill up barrels to their maximum capacity over one stack, you need to have the pipes go along the top. Um, a lot of people we'll try to put them in through the bottom which will work but it will also only fill it up to one stack and that's not what we want so we will not do that come on son go down there we go Alright, so if we're going to have these be filled from the top, just hold shift and place them right on top. Might not need to hold shift, I just like to hold shift when I do pipes because they can, they'll go alongside anything if you do that. Alright, so how are we going to start? The first thing is we're going to use an igneous extruder. That was actually the name of the cobblestone generating thing I was trying to think of last episode, so 
If you were wondering, that's what it is. Uh, we're going to choose cobblestone. Output's on the top. Perfect. And this is going to need lava and water bucket to get going. And I wonder if we should get that going now. can't remember how to do that. You might need to put it in through liquid transposers now. I can't actually remember. You used to be able to just put the bucket in there and it would be all set. Maybe if we do that. Nope. Guess we're going to need a liquid transposer. That's not a big deal. We can grab that. We don't want this running yet anyway, so we'll uh, we'll take care of that when it's time. So for this first iteration, we are just going to simply connect these. Um, actually, we might have it go this way, so it comes down the line. So that's going to come around, that's going to fill up these uh, barrels as much as it can or wants. The rest of the materials are going to continue on to the next floor. Actually we might have that come back in and then up. Oops, that's the wrong. Yes, this is very interesting video, I can tell already. <laughs> Alright, so, there we go. There's the first floor ready to go. Nothing spectacular. We will, uh, probably gonna use stairs to go up to the next floor. So, let's, uh, fill this in. So that's good. We are at the floor we want now. Alright. So uh, we'll need to go back one, two, three, four, and five. And then this will be the outside wall. Oh, wait, no, we didn't need that. That's all. <laughs> That's a little bit out of control. I'm neglecting the uh, blocks that we already have set up for the uh, back room. We don't need it to go five past that. Yes, I have quantum boots and pants now, so a little bit easier to get around. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, and an extra. And then the wall. All right. second floor. Let's finish this off. Alright, now I gotta really 
think about how I want to do this because I don't think this is right. Cause this is the front facing, so I need that to go back that way. So it probably makes no sense to go straight up. Actually, where is it? There it is. So this is going to be in between the walls, and then we can go. Um, nope, not there. I guess up, right in, and then out that way. All right. Well, actually, no, I can't do that either. I've really thought this through, as you can tell. <laughs> Where is that? There we go. So we'll keep coming through. And then out to here. This way we can block this off to make it look nice. To make it look nice, yes. Okay, so now we have second floor. Um, floor, right, yes. Do barrels again, and we're gonna be on this side this time. So we'll go one, two, three, four, and five. Oh no, we're running out of cobblestone. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Luckily, we have this quarry set up over here to get cobblestone to build the cobblestone generator. <laughs> This is something more to mix that up. Just your basic uh, quarry from Buildcraft, I believe. Alright, that should be enough. up some eggs along the way <laughs> all right so we have the back end now we need to come up from here what are you doing chicken <laughs> silly chicken get out of the way coming along here. It's going to be a beautiful cobblestone building too. I, I bet you can't wait to see this thing finished. <laughs> I just want to get the second floor shown for you and then I'll probably skip ahead and do a couple more floors and get some of this cosmetic stuff done off camera for you just so it's not so boring but I do want to show you kind of the process for turning it into the um, oh yeah I can't think of the word I'm thinking of but turn it uh, into the compressed cobblestone. Yes, compressed cobblestone is the word I was thinking of. Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't do that. It's going to be up against the wall.
All right. Ooh. There we go. All right, so we're going to pump the cobblestone into the auto workbench, which is going to take nine of our cobble and turn it into compressed cobble. Uh, once it does that, it will get pumped out this transport pipe and into more co cobblestone transport pipes. And then we will bring this up to the level we need. And we'll spread this over these barrels. And rinse, wash, and repeat. Oh shoot, now I remember why I did it that wide. Crap. <laughs> I need this to all be over one. Oh yes, the stairwell is supposed to wrap around the other side. I might be able to leave that. Alright, let's get this right. I had to fall that way. Excuse me. So other than probably a massive waste of pipes, <laughs> which I'm not going to worry about because cobblestone pipes are so cheap, we really have not much to worry about. Alright, so we don't want that that far over. We're gonna bring that up right here. Or no, we'll bring it up over one more. And then we'll redo this. And this wall's gonna go here. And then we'll go up right there. Oh no, it's a creepy cave. Oh, what the hell? Pretty sure I switched that, but that's okay. Keep telling me I didn't. down this absolute mistake. Uh, whoa. I don't want that. Give me this back. Beat you with a stick. Make sure not to beat that with a stick. I want it back. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to come out right here and we'll put this back down. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? go. Then we need this and this and this. And where did our other lever go? We're going to need that. I only brought enough for one. <laughs> um, actually, now let's go straight up. Save some materials. Whoa. Way smooth move right there. Do you see that? Alright, let's get this back and this out. Alright. Now we got that, and we can mirror that going around. So that's the basic idea. Whoops. 
that's your basic idea. We're going to have stairs wrapping around. This is the front side. You'll have your regular cobble. Go up your stairs, and you'll end up on this floor. And this is where you're going to get your compressed cobble. And then the next floor is going to give you your double compressed, triple compressed, quadruple compressed, so on and so forth. So I will spare you the pain of this, and I will be back with you once we have a little more done. Hello and welcome back allies. Uh, done a little bit of progress on the building here. Um, looks a little boring right now. It's gonna, we're going to start off with just plain old cobble on the outside. But we're going to spice it up eventually. But right now it's about getting the frame and functionality working. So as you would enter the store you'd see five barrels filling with cobble. And then if you wanted more compressed cobble, you'd come up the stairs where we have the compressed cobble. And then the next floor would have double compressed and triple compressed and quadruple compressed. And then we'll keep going all the way up to the octuple compressed. So that's kind of the, that's going to be what it's going to look like from the inside when you're trying to get your blocks to build with. Now it's just starting to fill up so we haven't really got very far and I have these actually collecting at this point before the third block I have not uh, they're not making the uh, double compressed because I keep taking these blocks because I'm using them to build the building so it's taking a little longer to uh, get going but as you'll see we got the igneous extruder going we got the lava and the water making infinite cobble no power necessary. Cobbles popping out the top. Boom, coming right into this is the first floor barrels. And then we got an access on the opposite side of the building. So this brings us up to the next floor, which is creating the compressed cobblestone in this workbench. And it's pumping it out into these barrels. And from the other floor, you'll know the, you'll see the, uh, I think that's the one with two. Yep, and one and one. And then we go up another floor, and this is where we are collecting to make the double compress. So I'm waiting for the compress to fill up so that these can fill up a bit more and make some of these. And I'm just going to have them collect here because I want to save nine of them before I start this uh, redstone engine and start pumping them through. So that I can uh, bring those nine into here and make the setup so that the overflow will start getting collected in the barrel if they miss through the barrels definitely don't that's going to be important moving forward because we don't want to miss uh, any of our cobble we're making because there's quite a bit of it obviously this one's off and that'll do the same thing into this and then this one's ready to go ready to collect too same sort of thing and we even got this one started as well not very much done on this floor, but I think at this point we only need like three, maybe four more floors. So, getting really close, and I think we'll cut it off right here. And uh, when we get it filled up a little bit more, I'll bring it back and show you what's going on. And we're back again, and we're pretty much done at this point, so um, I just got to do some internal things once we build up some cobblestone back up, but I add a little bit of spice to it with the windows, I don't know, might might add some accents, or once we get some more of the other kinds of cobble, might make some designs or something, try to make it look a little nicer, but for now, this is what we got. So we come in, this is the main entrance, we got a normal cobble. Pretty sure you saw this last time. We got this cobble building up. The next one will be here. Then we'll be here. I'm gonna add some signs so you know what level you're on because it does get confusing. Lots of levels. And if we ever do get a stockpile of these ones up here and <gasps> excuse me, these levels definitely be nice. All right, so the top floor. Uh, there is access to the back room area and you can get to the back room area and obviously we don't have anything done yet but it's all set up and ready to go we're just gonna flip on flip on the switches once we get enough stockpiled so that we can create the next carpenter I think th not quite see this is where it'd be nice to know a floor I'm on. <laughs> 
Is it this one? Nope. Is it this one? Yep. So we're at the double compress turning into triple compress. So I got my first nine of these made and we're ready in the workbench. So I have that turned on and pumping. But, oh shoot. Did not want to do that. <laughs> Pushed right click thinking I was going to see what was on it. I was not how you do that. But these ones we got uh, filled up and come down here. We're at the uh, bottom layer down here for the regular cobble. And a little side entrance. We pick that up. And that's our cobble factory. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you can use some of this for uh, your own use and your own servers. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and let me know, and I'll hopefully get back to you and be able to answer for you. Later.